Welcome back. If you haven't already, please check out the first two videos in our series with Dr. Randy Anderson. Yes, and in this video, Dr. Anderson concludes his talk with a real life example of the soil health regeneration process. Th this example is from the, the Great Plains. You know, the standard procedure was winter wheat follow, CT stands for conventional tillage, and this will give you a picture of, of the wheat in early April. This was a rotation that the innovators were doing, innovative no-tillers. They were doing winter wheat, corn, proso millet, and then dry peas. And if you look and compare the canopy here, you'll notice there's a drastic difference. Just imagine being a, a kochia plant emerging right here, and then that kochia plant emerging here. It's going to make a lot of growth and most likely survive here. Here the crop m likely will compete, will compete the wheat and cause it to die. This has showed the drastic difference. In fact, if you think about efficiency of resource use, this is wasting a lot of sunlight. This is capturing all the sunlight, therefore there's getting more use of the resources. This is why the innovative producers are, are achieving sustainability. They have much more protection of the soil and they're getting much more efficient use of the resources. Hmm. You really don't need to be an agronomist to see the difference here, do you? <laughs> Dead right. Dr. Anderson has given us some of the literature that supports his soil health spiral, which you'll see next in this video. Stay tuned for our next video on Meritor Myth. See you soon.